Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode two of Flip Leagues Eastly. We're going to go with that name. It's not very clever. It's just what it is and what team I am, but that'll do. Right, got a little bit to catch up. It's like change of formation, had a few injuries um, with a few key players. So as you saw in the first episode, I think we had two injuries to strikers. We've, we've already abandoned the two target men. You know, it didn't last very long. That was mainly after we drew one all with Solly Hull Moores. Which I would have been expecting to be. Um, our only goal came from Scott Wilson, who is our backup, backup, backup striker. Um, gave goal on his debut. What more can you ask for, really? But we played pretty poorly. Um, so then we uh, switched it up slightly and got a one. Uh, no, we, I think this is the same formation. A scraped win against York with uh, Magoma with the only goal. Nice goal from him. Decent. I'm glad he's getting it in the goals. A lot of people in the comments said that actually he was the one they thought was the best signing of the season. Although he's a left midfielder. I didn't notice at the time was right footed. But he has a fairly good left foot. So that that's good enough for me. So then we changed things up and we beat Borenwood 2-1. But a much better performance. Michael Reigns, the centre back. And Magoma scoring a penalty for a pretty comprehensive well, if ever a uh, 2-1 win is comprehensive. We just created better chances, had a bit more possession. Previously with the other formation, uh, with a 4-4-2, we were lacking a bit of um, consistency. Also, we couldn't keep hold of the ball. It, was, it wasn't pretty. So today we are playing Sutton United and Gateshead. Now, this is an interesting one. I, I was thinking about this. Is We want to raise our reputation like... That's probably like goal number one. Keep the job probably is goal number one. But raising our reputation so we can start poaching the ex-premiership players. And I think part of that is to try really hard in the Cups. Especially the League Cup. Because none of the Premier League teams are in it. So we actually stand a much better chance of actually doing some decent work. The FA Cup is going to be tricky. Because in the third round we might just draw Man United. That'll be awkward. Um, but I think we should concentrate trying to get a good result in these League Cups. Play the full squad. Go for it. And um, I think do, do the business. If I, um, It's not even the day of the game, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right. So Constable's out for um, another four weeks. I, I'm basically using the tactic that my assistant manager suggests. With a few tweaks... Um, we're going to have him on attack to support the target man, the Amanda up front, um, who was out injured as well. Um, John Glenson, um, or Glenn Johnson, we're not sure which one's going to turn up yet, has only played one game. He's just back from injury, still lacking a bit of uh, match fitness, but the rest is all right. Um, I think we're doing all right. I think we'll, we'll go with this formation. I've literally got no instructions because I don't really think it's needed. We should be all right. We should be beating teams for fun. Um, somebody asked to see the um, transfers from other clubs. I have had a look, and it was much like the experiment video we did, in which the, the actual premiership clubs, they didn't go out and spend a lot of money or buy big-name players, because they're in the conference, but they, did, they managed to keep hold of all their main players, which I think um, it basically is the case this year as well. Until next year, when we come poaching. Oh, one thing to show you, you know, we talked. I talked about money. Um, we're making a shit ton of money, and like a ridiculous amount of money. We're up to fourteen million pounds already. Um, I'm not can't remember what it was last episode. It's only one or two million, wasn't it? We're we're making <laughs> a ridiculous amount of money. TV revenue is three point three million pounds. Um, oh no, it's nine million pounds a month. So I think we'll be all right. I'm hope hoping. By the time January comes around, we could easily have 50 million in the bank and then I can go to the board and say, go on, give us some more cash and hopefully go on a bit of a spending spree. But let's get into the game today. We've got to not get sacked, remember. We're, in, we're supposed to top four is the goal. So we haven't had the most convincing of starts. Um, here we are, the marvellous Eastley Stadium. Somebody did say... Isn't there like a minimum requirement for for um, stadiums in the Premiership? And there is, but I think maybe when the guy made the flipped leagues, he obviously took out the conditions for minimum stadiums and minimum seating and stuff because it would have broken the game. Otherwise, it would have just no, nobody can play. I don't think there's a single conference team that would have hit those targets. Probably some random team that's got like a twenty thousand seat stadium. I don't know, but I think that's what they did just to make sure it's playable. But hopefully, with all this Doolar coming in, we will... Mo What's Doolar? Moolar. All this Moolar coming in, 
I think we should be all right. Here we go. Go on. Go on. Oh, well, it's Glenn Johnson. It's another. I've got two Johnsons. I'm, gonna have to, I'm just going to have to fire one just so it's uh, less confusing. All right. Kalachan with the corner. I know I'm saying his name wrong because Scottish people have told me off. But that he should spell his name differently then, shouldn't he? It's his fault for having Kalachan. It's clearly Kalachan. C-H-A-N is Chan. So suck it up. You're you're saying your name wrong. That's what I'm going with. Okay, not the most convincing of half so far, but they haven't even had a shot on target, a couple of long shots. We'll we'll play with it. We'll go with this tactic like I normally do with it. No team instructions and then just tweak it as we go. Um I'm not a massive fan of having the lone target man striker. I'm hoping that um Emmanuel Thomas gets forward and supports the striker, but it's uh um, yeah, I'm thinking we might not even need the ball-winning midfielder. I think we should go for the Liverpool tactic of being shit at defence and hopefully scoring more than the opposition. That's what we might... Do so we change this for the second half? OK, just after that. We'll change it after they score. No, no. That's an awful defensive header. All right. Collins. That's it. Keep pushing him away. Blues. Oh, no. It's dangerous. Deacon. Oh, he's so free. Oh! Oh, but big willy style excellent save from the big man i don't think he's not even a big man is he right let's let's pause this a sec let's see if we open ourselves up too much if we just go babosh badoosh and then we can go um boom bash biff boff uh boom put you on support put you drop you back down support keep you there I wonder if this will open us up too much, but I'm hoping we're just good enough that we're just going to score goals and not worry about it. I just want to say a little bit of housekeeping. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to David. He still hasn't told me how to say his name. I'm pretty sure he does this on purpose now, so I mess it up. F Freer. I'm going to say Freer. David, uh, Daniel Freer for sending me um, Chirut Imwi. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, where is he? There he is. <laughs> he's blind. I couldn't find him. No, that only works out very well. Um, from Rogue One, he's all, he was on my Amazon wish list. He's one of my favourite characters and I'm gutted that he died. Well, everybody died in Rogue One. Sorry, spoilers alert. Everyone dies in Rogue One. Um, but thank you very much, mate. That, it's, it's my collection. I've got a few more, but they're on the other shelf from far too far away to bother going to get it. Thank you very much. And he's also sending some doggy treats as well. So, or some cat treats rather. So thank you very much, mate. I'm just covering over the fact we can't score for shit here. How we, we're basically playing 4-2-4 here, people. How have we not scored? Okay, so to me, that looked like a mistake because <laughs> it was pretty even this game half time. We changed things up and we've just opened ourselves up like a cheap whore. And they seem to be having a lot of shot. Okay, I'll take the draw after that. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's do it, Mr. Assistant. I also like to say, um, well, I'll, I'll do it on the next match. We just skip it. That that's bad, though, isn't it? Hang on. We are unbeaten for five. It's not. It looks fine on the table and stuff, but nothing has been convincing at all. We've won every single game by one goal or drawn it. Not ideal. We don't want to have to rely on Big Willie keeping us in games. Right, on to the next game. EFL Cup. Time to do some damage. Right, here we go. I made a few tweaks um, to the form. Oh, we're, not, we're not really learning it as well. Remember, I've got to remember that and go, oh, this isn't working. Change it. So I've only changed it a little bit. We move the ball winning midfielder just up a little bit to just sort of spread the three across and have these both of these wingers on attack. I might even swap them back and make them inside forward. Yeah, I'm not even sure. But we're, we're making small changes at a time. Um, and the three across midfield will basically means this guy sort of becomes almost a left midfielder rather than two sort of forwards. So that's what I'm hoping. With Diamandi, we've made a complete forward. We'll, I just want to see how well that goes. And we've added instructions, which is basic, very little. I don't like making too many changes. Because if I did 10 instructions here, it's hard to know what works and what doesn't. So we're just going to make a couple of changes, which is retain possession, work the ball into the box. And I've told both wingers to shoot less because one of the problems I find with FM in general is that people just shoot too much. So just tell them to calm down a bit. They'll still shoot plenty, hopefully. Well, they always do. It's FM. They'll shoot a lot. 
Um, so we've moved the ball winning fitter and we've also made the deep line playmaker an advanced playmaker, Kalachan, um, as the advanced playmaker, just to sort of see how he gets on there. But play a little bit further forward, play in this sort of hole here, which will be lovely. I think that'll do all right. I'm still not quite sure what we're going to do with this CM position. We're going to just try it out and see how we get on. So, um, am I, I'm doing this in training, am I? Match tactics team Cajun. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Um, <clears throat> but Ben Stevens coming on for his first game. 36-year-old. Look at his pace. I was going to say, almost as much pace as me, but let's be honest, I don't think I'm even a five. I'm probably a two. I'm a, I'm a two. I reckon acceleration three, pace two. I get up to speed, but that speed is ridiculously slow. Right. Let's get on to it. I want to see some magic from Glennie Johnson here. He played a seven, which is not too bad, in a nil-nil draw. So that's so. hopefully, we, come on, I want a few assists out of the big man. Right, here we go. League Cup time. Normally, one of the most boring games of the season, because nobody gives a shit about League Cup. But actually, this is very important for us. So we've beaten Gateshead already once this season. Come on, lads. Show. I just want to check something. It was Gateshead we beat, wasn't it? First game of the season. Yeah, 2-1. Right. Let's see how this one goes. So I just want to say a massive thank you. We've got a bunch of new patrons since I last did an update. And I just want to say a massive thank you to those that came on board, including Footy Madman 007. So he likes football and James Bond. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, Christopher Powell, uh, Kerry Chim, Barry Havard. Havard? Harvard. Harvard. No, it's not. It's H-A-V-A-R-D. Havard, I'm going to go with. H-T Kane and S-C-1-D. He said just call him Saeed. I think that's how you pronounce it. Saeed. Thank you very much. You're all absolute legends. Just a little quick Patreon update, if you didn't watch my channel update, is that we, um, as part of the already existing $20 level, if you're at $20, you, you're now put in a pool of names that I will use for a brand new series of XCOM 2 that I'm doing. So your name, your character will be in the game. And also like things like Darkest... Oh, Glenn Johnson's injured. Of course he is. Um, a facial injury. It's all right. Um, and so your that will be a naming pool that I'll use in games like Darkest Dungeon and XCOM 2 playthrough. I don't tend to rename regens in Football Manager. I like to just keep that pure... Right, for the purists. Fuck me, we just don't do anything, do we? As a team, as a whole, we are doing very little of the football-y things. I didn't even look at the match stats, is it bad? Okay, six shots. No long shots, so that's a bonus. Just none on... T three half chances, none of which even got on target. But we're creating good stuff. Um, Diamande is known to Hull fans as one of their worst ever signings, so <laughs> good. I'm hoping he can do a job, though. I knew he wasn't good in real life, but for us, he should be popping a goal in. I'm going to make him an advance forward. He's got the attributes for it. He's just not learned the position. Just get forward and score goals. All right, get it, get rid, get rid. Oh, free header. Oh, Big Willy can't stop that. Danny Johnson, we're going straight to attacking and an aggressive. Get creative! Did I get that in time? I'm not watching your replays, fuck off. <clears throat> right. Bup, bup, bup. Um, okay. Nothing. I'm seriously, we just had not. This is the fucking cup, man! What? We've not even had a highlight! <laughs> I know we don't know the formation, but come on. Dear man is playing a 6.3. Right. Fuck that. Right. Leacock McLeod of the Clan McLeod. It's going forward. Bosch. Togwell. Get up there, mate. Who wants to play behind? Literally nobody. I, I want... He could, but I want to play... Oh. Mm, really? Mm, okay. Mm. Okay, well, if we play him as a target man support and then play you as, like, a shadow striker so you can get ahead of him, right? Van der Vaart crouch, yeah? That's what... Think think that and go for it. Oh, I'm not confident, though. When you need a goal, bring it on Henderson. I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, so thank you very much to everyone that does support me on Patreon. It's pretty fucking incredible, the support I've got. And, um, yeah, just thank you. Almost got emotional then. I'll just steer away from that shit. Right, here we go. Goal time. 
Emmanuel Thomas. Yes. Yes. Hit it. Yes! Benny Stevens! Get in there. It is Ben, isn't it? Yes, it is Ben Stevens on his debut or, or first game of the season. I know my team well. First game of the season. Played across from Kalachan. And it's a, it's a decent finish. Goalkeeper's unsighted. Bottom corner, though. You're not saving that. Right, we needed that. Needed that. I th I'm basically crediting that to my genius tactical change. Yes, it's all fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, block it. Yes, okay, counter. 30 seconds. Do we really don't want extra time? That's a great... No, that's a terrible ball. That's what I said. Terrible ball. You're getting it to the ginge. All right. Muggle. On to Kalachan. Oh, that's a stunning pass. Anybody in the box? Doesn't, no, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Magoma is just rocketed one in the top corner. <laughs> I was like, there's nobody with him. Emmanuel Thomas is back there. Jesus, run faster. His work rate. That's it. Look, his work rate. <laughs> you know, you're the, uh, you're the shadow striker, mate, on attack. You should, okay, it's fine. Right, we've stolen this. I mean, uh, to be fair, we deserve it. Five half chances. But we've nicked it right at the end when I thought the game was over. That'll do. Another goal. Another game. Winning by one goal. I'll just say well done. I'm lying. We should be smashing these people. This is... And Glenn Johnson's out for three days. Okay, it's fine. He'll be back for next game. Stevens. Yes, boy. He's the old man, isn't it? Um, if you... Okay. Oh, don't don't be pissy with me, mate. You're 36. I could release you at the drop of a hat. I've got 15 million quid in the bank, yeah? Right? Don't think I won't if you... I just said you did well. Just go, thank you, boss. Right? Simple as that. There's your interaction. Right, but I'm happy we're through. Oh, hey! New record for Eastley already. I've only been in charge a couple of months. I've only put... Yeah. We'll take it. It's quite disappointing that they've only ever gone that many games without being beaten. Now, we've got a bunch of games left. We'll come back for the fourth round. Um, Woking and the fourth round of the EFL Cup. Um, it's called something else now, isn't it? Something stupid. God knows. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. One last little thing um, before I go. If anyone wants to create an intro for this series, you know how... Um, just a lot of 10, 15 seconds long to do with either Eastley or the Flips Leagues or Spitfires or something with a little bit of music. It can be fun and silly or something like that. If anyone wants to have a go, um, you feel free to do so. You can send me the video to um, my email, lokidokigg at gmail.com. If I do pick your intro to do, I'll send you a brain sock. Not that you need one, because you're obviously a genius already, but just in case. Or, and if you've already ordered a brain sock, I'll send you some other merchandise. But I'll let you know, we'll, we'll get something sorted out. I just thought, if anyone wants to have a go at intro, make sure it's no longer than 15 seconds. Make sure it's not got copyright music on it, that sort of stuff. If, you, if you're not sure about the music at all, you can just leave that off and I can add some music to it. But let your imagination run wild and, and, and go for it. And uh, yeah, it'll be quite fun. Interesting. If there's a couple of good ones, I might rotate between the two. Who knows? But thank you very much for watching. Like it, subscribe it, love it, cuddle it, snog it, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.